Hello, my name is Noah Daniels, and a road agent here at Advanced Tax Relief. And thanks for listening uh, to this clip. Now, today I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk about three ways to settle or resolve your IRS tax debt. Number one, the IRS Offering Compromise Program or Tax Debt Forgiveness Program, as some people may call it. Now, this is a program where you can settle your tax debts for less than what you owe. This program requires making a lump sum or short-term payment plan to pay off the IRS at a reduced dollar amount. So, if you owe the IRS more than you can afford to pay, this could be the plan for you. Essentially, an offering compromise gives you the opportunity to pay a small amount as a full and final payment. Now, if you qualify for the offering compromise program, you can save thousands of dollars in taxes, penalties, and interest. So number one is the offering compromise program. Number two is the currently non-collectible program. Now, this is a program where the IRS agrees not to collect on the tax debt for a period of time. Now, current, uh, currently non-collectible means that, it, that a taxpayer has no ability to pay his or her tax debt. The IRS can declare a taxpayer currently non-collectible after the IRS receives evidence that a taxpayer has no ability to pay. This is a useful tool because you can file for an appeals to stop an IRS levy, lien, seizure, or denial or termination of an installment agreement, which is a payment plan. The IRS appeal gives you the opportunity to explain how you think the situation could be resolved without the IRS levy or seizure. Now, we had a situation where a taxpayer was being levied on her social security uh, uh, wages. And uh, she called our office and because, I mean, she was only getting paid like 1,600 a month and they were taking about 15% of that, you know? So if you do the math, you know, that's nothing left after they take that. So she called us and after we reviewed her situation, we determined that she could be a currently non-collectible uh, uh, client. So we uh, made a proposal to the IRS and provided information for them, uh, to them, and she was placed in that status. So now she doesn't have to worry about the IRS garnishing her social security check or coming after her in any kind of way. And the good thing with this program is if you can remain in this status, you know, throughout the time, the life of the tax debt, you know, eventually the tax debt will, you know, go away, you know, because the IRS has 10 years to collect the tax debt. So if you're, if you're in this status based on your financial situation, or if you can be in this status, then, you know, I mean, it's also a good way to, you know, resolve your tax debt. Now, if your balance is, is under 10,000, in most cases, you know, the IRS will also release any liens that has been filed in your situation or uh, in your case. So it's this is also a good relief if you can afford to, you know, pay your tax debt. Now, number three, this is the Innocent Spouse Relief Program. Now, if you happen to inherit, you know, your spouse's, you know, IRS tax problems, you have an escape route. If you can prove that your circumstances fit within the IRS guidelines for an Innocent Spouse Relief, you may not be subject to the taxes caused by your spouse or ex-spouse. So, those are three ways, you know, that you can resolve or settle your tax debt. Number one, is the offer and compromise program. Number two is the currently non-collectible program. And number three is the innocent spouse or relief program. Now, if you have any tax problems, uh, give us a call at 1-800-790-8574. Our tax relief experts and tax attorneys and IRS road agents, you know, will make sure your case is resolved. Advanced Tax Relief is a BBB accredited business. Thanks and have a nice day.